This is Liberty Larry. First, I want to give all honor and glory to God, our Creator, and thank Him for the liberty she's granted us in our Constitution, state and federal. Today, I'm going to have a lesson on quantum physics, electrodynamics, and I want to give credit to Nikola Tesla, the greatest inventor of all time. What we're talking about is Tesla waves, neutrinos, energy particles from our sun, human residence. 7.8 hertz in the 80s, 12 hertz now. This energy is increased. And of course, as Tesla has said, there's ample power to power everything. And I'm finding what he said is true, indeed. I want to give credit also to Joseph Newman. He tried to get a patent they never would give him one, which they should have. And also John Bedini. The basically design we're going to look at today is John Bedini's design, modified. We're running a computer fan with it. This computer fan is developing uh, quite a lot of volts and actually is running on zero voltage, as you'll see. Look at the power supply I have here. It's on zero. The fan is running. I have a pickup on that just to tell the RPM. I've got the, uh, <clears throat> the RPM adjusted to around 12 hertz. It's varying a little. That's the frequency that's surrounding the Earth right now. Particles coming from our sun day and night. When you tune it to that, your current goes to zero. Now, I have a battery bank here, and some of these are used batteries by Made in USA. I'm doing a campaign on that. Some of these batteries are pretty old that I have that were made in the USA because the basically the lead is better quality, and I'm trying to get some of those remanufactured by Exide. Let's pray that we can get that done. But anyway, the amount of batteries I have here it's a 70.6 we're charging and I can disconnect the battery bank and of course you can see that staying at that voltage now if I increase the RPM of this motor I can greatly increase but I'll start using a little current when I do so and I'll show you that See how my current gauge is going up a little bit. Also, my hertz is going way up. I'm about 180 hertz. Now look at my voltage over here. And this is actually charging 150 volts DC. I can go higher than that. What is it when I disconnect the battery bank, which I'm charging? about the same now the idea is you build this up you can run your whole house whatever you want to John Bedini his design which he gave freely get a picture of that it's also on the internet but this is his simple design. He says, why complicate it? Keep it simple. And I kind of agree with him. You don't have to complicate things. Thank you, John. So as you can see, when you adjust the current and the RPM's down to about zero, it's around 12. your current goes to zero. And I'm still charging these batteries. In fact, the batteries are now charged up to 119 volts DC. Now you've seen this, you wouldn't have believed it. This is quantum physics. 
energy particles in the atmosphere around are being drawn in by the special wound coils in this computer fan. And by the way, it tells how to do that if you want to look. There's some people that have posted some things, in hop I think it is, that tells how to take this fan and build this. I'll have future classes or tell you how, but Merry Christmas to all. Unless through innovation, make America great again. Energy independence indeed. Merry Christmas.